Hey guys, it's Luigi Kell here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize the pre-made setup Prison Reborn. Essentially what we're going to be going through and doing today is just customizing things like the tab, the scoreboard, the holograms, and the message when you join just to put things like your server name and maybe even your color scheme in just to make it look more unique and for you. So the first thing we want to do is get the server installed and working there. If you don't know how to do that, follow my previous tutorial. I will link it in the description for you on how to install a pre-made setup. But after we do get it installed and it is all working correctly, we do want to connect to the server via FTP. So right here on Pterodactyl, my SFTP settings would be right there. On Multicraft, yours could be different. We do want to make sure we get connected to the server via FTP in order to edit the files. Before we get to editing any of the files, the first thing we want to do is make sure we do have Notepad++ installed. If you don't know what bit of version you have of Windows, you can just hit download right here or right here. That is the 32-bit version. If you know you have a 64-bit version, just download it right here. We'll just make sure we download it and run it and install it. Just to make our lives a little bit easier. As soon as it is installed, what we want to go ahead and do is go to the search bar there and type in Notepad++. It should be right here. Right-click on it. Go ahead and hit Open File Location. It's going to show up this. We're going to want to right-click and hit Properties. This is the target right here this is basically the file we need we want to copy this string then we want to go back to our filezilla we'll open up filezilla we'll go to edit settings then we'll go down to file type associations and see this is the string i just copied we're going to want to put it in there and first we're going to put yml space then that string you just copied if you're on a 32-bit version yours should look a little bit different and then we also want to check the inherit system file types associations that way while we're editing the files it just shows up on our screen after we hit right click and then we'll just hit view slash edit it'll pop up on our screen we just hit control save it uploads it to the server we don't have to worry about downloading or uploading or anything like that it makes our lives a lot easier to have fun we'll go ahead and hit control s it will save it and if we close that out it'll tell us hey a previously file has been changed we do want to put that file in the server and overwrite it so hit yes we'll go ahead and let that load in as soon as it says file transfer is successful, we can go back to the server and do something like MOTD and see how now it says, welcome back, Luigi Cal, your site.com, discord.yoursite.com, and make sure to have fun. So obviously you would want to put something like your Discord and your website in there, but that is how you change the MOTD to make that custom to you. The next thing we do want to change will be the tab. Up top it says Prison Reborn and a Twitter at Premiere Setups. Obviously, that isn't what the name you're going to want, and it also isn't the Twitter, so I can go ahead and show you how to change that. We are going to want to go to the Filezilla again, but this time it is not in Essential, so we want to go back and back out of it. We want to go to where it says Title Manager and open that up. Opening Title Manager, we want to go into the config.yml and right-click and hit View slash Edit. It will open up in Notepad++. After it opens up in Notepad++, this is what we should see for the config file. This is the player list, which is also known as the tab, shown when you hold the tab key. We want to change that. We can change that from Prison Reborn to something like your server. We hit Control S to save it. We're going to want to hit yes here to make sure it uploads to the server. This one we do want to type in slash TM reload. TM stands for title manager and reload tells it to get a new config. As soon as it reloads, we hold tab and it changes to your server. Same thing with the Twitter, it'll be in that same file also. If we go down, it says ping, amount of players online, and your Twitter. Twitter at, we'll say, your server. Hit Control S and save, same thing. Then we'll do slash TM reload. Boom, that's how you change the tab. The next thing we do want to change will be the scoreboard on the right hand side there. So we do want to open it up. This is also the same file, this is title manager. So up here is where our tab list is. We do want to scroll all the way down to where it says scoreboard. Here's where it says prison reborn. We can do something like your site. So we'll go ahead and hit control S to save it and hit yes. After it says it's uploaded, we'll give it just a second. There it goes. We'll hit TM reload. Boom, your site. Now you're all popped up and it should be good to go set to your actual name there. The next thing we do want to change is the holograms. So look into this hologram, it says OP prison, here's slash discord, slash rules, slash help, slash vote, and then the wrong IP hub and store. That's obviously not the right information. We do want to put your information there. So we are going to go back to 
the FileZilla here. We are going to back out. It is not in Title Manager. The plugin for the holograms is known as Holographic Displays. So we want to go to the Holographic Displays folder here, and we're going to double click it. It'll open up the file. We want to right click the database.yml and hit view slash edit. This will open up in Notepad++ also. And here's all the information we have. So it has the mines, the mines, these are all for the L mine, M mine, N mine. So those are the holograms you see at the beginning of the mine. Here's the warning that says, hey, warning PVP below. If we look in the server there, that's this hologram. But the main one we're looking at is this main one in the center. So this is also believed to call welcome, usually on the bottom there. We can hit control F, but it is right here. So we can change something like OP prison to your site and change these also the same thing, your site. I'll go ahead and copy that to make it a little bit easier. Hub.yoursite.com, www.yoursite.com, store.yoursite.com, just all the information to change it there. Now with these and with these previous configs, we can change the colors. So in the description below, I will go ahead and link all the colors we have an option to. Right now this says blue, then this says L, which means bold, it says IP, then it's switching to gray, and then gray bold, and then that is the little dash there, so we can see that there. And then it goes to F, which is white, and it says hud.yoursite.com. If you wanted to change any of those colors, look in the link in the description below and those will have all the color codes you can use there. So let's say we wanted to make this like a dark purple, we change this to a five. Then we'll hit control save. We'll go back to yes. Let that finish uploading and then we'll type HD reload. And now we have an ugly looking purple there, but it would be changed to whatever color you wanted there. The next thing I wanna show you guys is how to change something like slash site or slash discord. Obviously those aren't the right links. We want to get those customized. So again, we'll go back to FileZilla and we will back out here. And we want to go to the plugin called my command. So if you type M, it should pull up my command. We'll hit enter. It'll load it up and go to commands and then right click examples.yml and hit view slash edit. And here is all of the custom commands there. So mainly these are all aliases so slash crates will do slash warp crates and such but here are the text commands so discord.premiersetups.com we can change that to discord.yoursite.com and then there's the same one for website and site because you can use either command there we'll change those to yoursite.com and here is all the things like slash rules and slash help if we wanted to change something like that so in game we'll go your site help and we'll hit save we're gonna go hit yes this will upload to the site. To refresh my command, we'll type my command, my cmd dash reload. And then we're gonna make sure we do reload all. That'll reload everything. And then we can do something like slash discord or slash site. And they are changed along with slash help. Now it says your site help. That is how you would change the custom commands there to make them relative to you. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was the kit menu and such. So for the custom menus like slash kits, it pulls up player kits, G kits, and rank kits. Say you didn't like this kit's name or you wanted to change the icon for kits to not be a chest. That will all be done in a plugin called deluxe menu. So we will also go back and we wanna go back to the main plugin page there. And we're gonna go back one more time and we will be on the plugins page there. We do wanna to go to deluxe menu. So if we hit D, it should bring us to there's drugs plus and such. We wanna to go to deluxe menus, double click it there and then right click and hit config.yml and view slash edit. This will pull up a big config file, with all the menus there. So it is important to kind of know what we're looking to change there because this is a pretty huge file. If you aren't able to tell by the slider there, there's a lot of custom menus there. So let's say for something like slash the warps or slash kit, we can do, we'll look up kit. Well, there's a few kit options there. So that doesn't really give us what we're looking for. We can click here to lower, these are all different menus. Every time we click, it's a whole new menu. So there's the kits menu. If we open that up, there's your kits menu or the kits message, which is right here. We could change that to something like we'll do at sign eight, which is just dark gray. And we'll go your site and then maybe dash kits. We'll go ahead and save that and reload it. We want to type deluxe menus reload. Oh, looks like it had an error. We'll go back says, you want to overwrite? Yes, we want to hit yes. It'll say yes. We'll go ahead and reload deluxe menus and do slash kit and your site dash kits shows up. 
if we wanted to change something like where it says player kits, we want to go to the inventory there. This one's called display name player kits. So here's the slot it's at, which is number 11. So it does go from zero. So zero, one, two, all the way to eight, nine, 10, 11. So that is why it's in this slot. And then the crates, which is number 54 for a chest, material 54, which means it's a chest. If you wanted to make it something like a diamond block, you would want to pull up something like diamond block. It looks like it has 57. We're gonna go type in 57, hit save, upload that to the server again, and then we will do slash kit. Now it is a diamond block. That should be it for you guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at discord.premiersetups.com. This is how to change the configs and such on your Prison Reborn setup. I will be doing a video for things like factions and skyblock coming soon there. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me there. If you haven't done so already, please make sure we subscribe to the channel there just so I can get some followers and get this going for everyone. I want to make sure everyone is participating and everyone can see and change their server how they would like it. And if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next time, please drop it in the comments. I want to know what you guys want to see so I can make tutorials relative to what you guys would like. But that should be it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Luigi Cal out.